I don't... I don't get women's clothes. All my, most of my wife's dresses zip up at the back. Whose fucking idea was that? <laughs> Have you ever seen your wife come in on a Friday a little bit pissed, trying to undo that zip? She'll stand in the middle of the bedroom, right? She'll have herself in a fucking half Nelson. <laughs> I got this, hold on! After a while, she gets really angry. She looks like a psychiatric patient trying to get out of a fucking straight jacket. <laughs> get me out of this fucking dress! No! <laughs> Constantly at war with her clothes. The other day, I was watching my wife getting dressed. No word of a lie, right? She put a bra on backwards <laughs> and then fucking spun it round. <laughs> she looked like she just passed her HGV. <laughs> you know, she's backing up in the bedroom. Warning, wife reversing. Warning, wife reversing. <laughs> the fuck is that? I don't put me pants on backwards and then spin round really quick. <laughs> She's always adjusting her bra, my missus, putting everything in place, you know? Fracking, I call it fracking. <laughs> Blokes are the same, they're all shifting it, moving it. You all right, boys? Yeah. <laughs> you ever done that? You'd be walking down the high street on a Saturday through Birmingham, suddenly get a pube caught in your pants. Fucking hell. <laughs> You don't want to attract to the attention, so you start doing all that shit, you know? <laughs> I think that's how ballet was invented. <laughs> you know, years ago, some bloke was walking down the street doing all that shit, you know? Somebody went, well, what is that? I call it the Nutcracker Suite. It's when we're going out, that's when my wife does mad stuff. We was going out the other day, she's got a shower cap on her head, which I don't get. Why would you want to wash your hair at a different time to the rest of your body? It's like your hair is out of sync with the rest of your body. What happens when you want to wash just your hair? Do you have a fucking bag that comes up to here? <laughs> I don't fancy washing me face today. Where's me ski mask? <laughs> See, I don't like it when my wife gets in her bathroom. Do you know what she's done now? She's put that hand cream in there. She says, Lee, use the hand cream after you wash your hands. Fucking never again. You can't get back out. You've got no grip. <laughs> Ow! I'm stuck in the bog! be completely paralysed just by getting ready to go out. Normally, it's just after she's painted her toenails. I'll ask her to do something, she'll stand up and she'll go, Lee, I can't move! I've just painted my toenails! And I look down and she's wearing what can only be described as a fucking sponge knuckle duster. <laughs> what the fuck is it? It's like she's got each toe in stocks. <laughs> you know, they're all drunk that they're in on varnish. Help her! <laughs> she's drunk her! <laughs> See, I know these things. I know these things because I've been married for uh, this year, 30 years. Uh, 30 years this year. Yeah. <laughs> We've been married for so long, things are changing. I don't like shopping with my wife. She's changed. She scares me. My wife is normally a law-abiding person. That is until we get in the shopping centre. We'll be standing in the food court holding a couple of trays of our dinner on after just paying for it, and she'll turn to me and she'll go, she hasn't charged us for the teas. <laughs> you what, love? She hasn't charged us for the teas. <laughs> well, that's all right. I just... Uh, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> Never on the run. I'm shitting myself. We're like fucking Bonnie and Clyde. I'm eating me dinner like a fugitive. Are they coming? Are we in trouble? Are we fucked? My wife's all calm and calculated. Easy, easy. <laughs> I'm shitting me pants. I can't stand this. A life on the run. I can't stand it anymore. She's got me by the cheeks. Oi. You drunk the tea, you slag. <laughs> You're in. Okay. 
know my wife is such a criminal. Have you ever stayed in a hotel with your wife? Fucking hell, she becomes like a burglar overnight. <laughs> she turns into one of those bank robbers you see in the films. We'd be leaving the room and suddenly she starts scooping all the toiletries into a fucking handbag. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm standing there, what are you doing? We're here for another fucking two weeks. <laughs> what is she gonna do with all these miniature bottles of shit anyway? <laughs> She'd be up the pub the next day. Psst. Do you want to buy a shower cap? <laughs> Do you want to buy a feminine hygiene bag? <laughs> Ugh, how many you got? One. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty much the idiot in our house. I swear, I am. I, you know, I watched that film the other day, 12 Years a Slave. That's based on my marriage, that is. <laughs> yeah, because I've got two jobs. This one, if you can call it a job, and whatever shit job she's fought up for me when I get indoors. <laughs> No, I'm serious, as soon as I walk through our front door, she'd be standing there with a plunger going, Bog, needs unblocking now. <laughs> Doesn't matter who you are, you could be Alan Sugar, one of those tycoons off the Dragon's Den. As soon as you step through your front door, you turn it to fucking Igor. <laughs> Hello, darling, I'm home. Rubbish needs taken out now. Oh, immediately, oh, master. She runs the worst job centre in the world. It's all menial work she gets me to do. It's like, pray, anything good for me today, oh master? Yes, this one involves travel. Oh, zippity doo da. <laughs> get me some lilettes. <laughs> and you can get those on the way back from the chippy. Now go! <laughs> ah, ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> To be fair to my wife, it's not all mean your work she gets me to do. Sometimes she'd be on her way out the door and she'd go, Illy, any idea what the roads are like? I'm like, yeah, just a minute, I'll just nip up to the fly in the sky. <laughs> well, there's a five mile tailback on the B402 after a frozen food lorry, Jackknife at Junction 9. This is Lee Evans with the traffic and travel brought to you by How the Fuck Should I Know? <laughs> oh, okay, no. And I can't remember anything anymore, and it's losing me all the battles in our house. My wife can even tell me my own memory just by saying, I did tell you, Lee. And I just believe her, because I can't fucking remember. <laughs> she just say to me, you don't even remember what you forgot, do you? <laughs> the fuck did you just say then? She's like, oh, forget it. <laughs> I just did, don't you remember? I can't remember anything. I have to turn to my wife for everything these days. We'd be in the supermarket, right? And the woman behind the counter would go, do you have a loyalty card? I look straight to my wife, go, do you have a loyalty card? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Somebody would say to me, Lee, can you answer anything by yourself? I look straight to my wife, can I answer anything by myself? <laughs> no, no. I'm one of them blokes that stand in a record shop humming the chorus to the bloke beyond the counter because I can't fucking remember the song. Yeah, it's, uh, it's sort of like boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka. <laughs> it's a shame you can't do that with anything else. You know, you're ordering a curry. Yeah, I had a little while ago. It sort of sounded like a. <laughs> you know, me and my wife, we applied for one of those gay marriages because gay people seem to be a lot happier. I thought, fucking, I'll have some of that. Huh? No, no, the gay community, they have a march when the Pet Shop Boys release a new album. Then they have another parade when they don't release an album, they celebrate their sexuality marching through the streets. I am what I am. <laughs> you never see married couples doing anything that, blowing whistles and waving flags, do you? They all seem to be fucked off of everything. <laughs> On a gay march, they're all flouncing around, you know, go west. <laughs> On a married march, it'd be just like men and women walking down the street going, da, 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 da. <laughs> da, 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 da. All these people that have gay marriages, it's all great when you first meet somebody, but let's see if you can last 30 years, mate, because things start to change. Like, we've been married for so long, things are changing. She's getting more butch and I'm getting more feminine. <laughs> I swear, you know, the lights will suddenly go out and hour out, so I go, clink, I'll go, what the fuck's happening? My wife would go, ah, calm down, you tart. I'll get a fucking torch. <laughs> I 
Anyway, I can't see my wife on a parade. After two minutes, she'd be hanging on to me going, oh, Lee, I'm not walking another fucking step. <laughs> These fucking shoes. Because <laughs> she does that. My wife would buy some shoes, but not normal ones. You wear on your feet. Oh, no, 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 no. That's too fucking easy. <laughs> no, because the ones she buys, no, 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 they're special, much more trendy. Because the ones she buys, you don't wear on your feet. You take off halfway through the night and end up holding your hand. Do you know them fuckers? <laughs> If we're going out for the night, right, we leave our house and she'll have her shoes on her feet where they're fucking meant to be. She'd go like, oh, I love these fucking shoes. I love these shoes. <laughs> fucking love these shoes, Lee. As the night progresses, you'll see her go like, oh, I love these fucking shoes. All oh, these fucking shoes. <laughs> oh, these fucking shoes. No! <laughs> I'm looking at her feet going, oh, trendy, blisters. <laughs> Rather, she just took them shoes off. Because whenever she keeps them on all night, something really weird happens. Has your wife ever done that? She's had those shoes on all night. We'd get indoors, right? She'd disappear off into the bedroom to take those shoes off. And suddenly, you can hear all these sounds of ecstasy coming out of the bedroom. All you can hear is this. Oh! 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 Oh, that for a second. Oh, yeah, just there. Oh, yeah. I'm standing in there hallway. Who the fuck <laughs> is in that room with my wife? <laughs> and here's the freaky bit. When she reappears out of that bedroom, it's a completely different woman. Why is it with women when they get in from a night out? That really glamorous person I was with seconds ago <laughs> is now wearing an old baggy tracksuit. <laughs> that makes her look like she shit herself. <laughs> A pair of old slippers, a house coat, no fucking makeup. She walk out that bedroom, going like, ah, uh, uh, that was a fucking top night, Lily. Ah, uh, go on, you got to admit it, that was a fucking top night. I'm standing there. Who? I feel fuck. Are you? She went in that bedroom looking like Winona Ryder. She come out looking like fucking Sean Ryder. That would have topped that one, Jet Lee. Her behaviour changes as well. Five minutes ago, we was in the car having a sophisticated conversation. Now she's on the couch, a mouthful of chocolate. Do you want the quality straight? <laughs> Here, do these trousers make me look like I've shit myself? <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> Here, I've just finished that book, Fifty Shades of Grey. Do you fancy an early night? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good night. God bless. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a song uh, about my wife. So here we are, you and me still all together. The story so far of a boy meets girl falls in love for ever. I walked you home from school, making you laugh by playing the fool. Sit for hours under the moon 
Catch a falling star or wish upon our dreams come true Married at 17 Two scruffy kids you've ever seen But I was gonna be your king You were gonna be my queen girl that I ever seen When the snow and the rain and the leaves on the trees stop falling I will always be there I'm your man When the sun and the moon and the stars in the sky stop shining
amazing people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of Birmingham and the surrounding area, not just for tonight, but for a 20 year period. Thank you for being my friend. I love you. Thank you for making it all so worthwhile. I love you, man.